Many people out there may uh, know me as Dave Slayball, coach of the Highland Lady Hawks. I've been a coach at Berlin Highland for 23 years now, and, and even in my area, many people assume that I'm a high school teacher, but I'm not. I'm a uh, financial planner. Uh, I have own, my own business with Dave Slayball Financial Services, and, and I've been doing that along with coaching. I've enjoyed both uh, parts of it, but today maybe I'll, I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that I think are, are important uh, in being a, a good coach. For me, it's, it's uh, and I learned this from uh, a former boys coach at Highland, Perry Reese, uh, it's all about developing a relationship. So whether you're coaching your, uh, your players, you're uh, teaching your son, or you're working with your clients, you know, developing that relationship is first and foremost. We're, we're really hard on our, our players. Um, but I think we can do that because because we know them. We know their goals. Um, we have we've had 27 players go on to play college basketball in 17 years, and uh, so we we try and help our players achieve some of those goals along the ways. And I think just understanding what motivates them. For some players, it's uh, playing time. For some players, it's that college education. For some players, it's just uh, wanting to be a part of a team. To reach that level, to be a really good coach. We think you really, really have to know your players. One of the big reasons we think we're successful is just the organization that we have built uh, with the girls basketball program at Highland. I think it's really important for young coaches out there to surround yourself with really good people who uh, are on the same page, who want to work just as hard as you do, who uh, uh, enjoy and have the same passions for teaching kids that, that you would. So, so for young coaches, uh, find people who have, have some of the same passions as you do. We, we like to start our, our players in kindergarten. We have uh, kindergarten camps um, on up. So for parents out there, I would encourage you in today's uh, environment, it's important that you get your kids started early. You know, find a good camp with a good coach that, that uh, will teach some fundamentals. But by the time they graduate from, from our school, I've known them for 12 years and had them, uh, and, it, and it's been fun to watch kids go from uh, that first camp as, as a kindergartner to when they graduate um, as a senior and maybe going on to play college basketball. Parents, in the same way that you would uh, help get your daughter or son in, in a basketball camp at an early age, I would encourage you to uh, give them an opportunity and whatever else that they might enjoy. Maybe maybe they love music. Uh, maybe they have a passion for, for helping around the house or whatever it might be. We really look to invest in our young people and, and, and encourage them and give them as many opportunities as possible. Let me recap. Number one, relationships. Really encourage you as a parent or a coach to develop that great relationship with your youngster. Uh, number two, just organization, uh, being organized with uh, people that you're surrounding yourself with or um, whatever it is that you may be um, looking to get your children involved. You know, just, just ha have a great organization. And number three, just providing opportunities for young people. Uh, as a coach, making sure that uh, we're working hard to having those camps. And if you're a parent, you know, searching out those opportunities that are going to allow your child uh, the best chance to be successful.